So here's my experimental piece I've left out for some time. This is the end of the rebar that I had protected or covered. You can see the contours of it, the shape of it, the design of it. And now we see, as you go down, I had it exposed in different, different uh, levels, if you will. What you're looking at, expansion of the metal and the rust. Um, some of it's falling off my hand. Let's do this. Now you can see you've lost the contours. The contours are lost or significantly lower. At this end, you'll see me break it apart. But there's the biggest or largest amount of swelling. I had that in, back and forth in water that would dry out. Basically, I set it in some mud so water would get to it and then dry out and have cycles. Hey, cat. Hey, cat. So now let's go ahead and do a couple taps. She's right there. And we see right there. That's not mud on there. Obviously, you saw that impact I was giving it. But what you're noticing, number one, is the swelling. How it swelled up. That swelling will cause cracking in your concrete, breaking of uh, your concrete, etc. You've got to have cover. You've got to protect your... You've got to protect your reinforcement. So the concrete's designed for strength, but yet you still got to worry about it. Look at that. So now we have... You can see the profiles now. What you see is what's swelling and how much is deteriorated. Let's turn the profile this way. Now, well, very, very, uh, very interesting. This is only one year, guys. One year. So you could treat this metal and try to stop its uh, the rusting process. Ultimately, ultimately, it all wants to go back to rust. I mean, go back to iron. It's original, original format. Let's go like this.